Well, hello again, Pastor Ray Barnett here. Glad that you could be with me here on the Oasis. And as always, I wish you a good morning, a good evening, or a good afternoon, depending on what time you're watching this broadcast. Here I am with you today, as I promised yesterday, and uh, trying to get this, trying to get this show on the road, so we can get back to business, the business of overcoming nervous symptoms. You know, sometimes when we use language, we we mix things up. For example, <clears throat> with nervous symptoms, as you certainly know, you get a feeling, a sensation, an impulse, right? And as you practice the things that we're talking about here on this uh, broadcast, on this channel, you may be tempted to say, you know, I, I finally learned how to uh, control my feelings. Now, that's what I want to talk to you about today. That feelings that come, you know, from your body, sensations, whether they be palpitations or just the many symptoms that we, we talk about, um, they cannot be controlled. What I mean is that your body is simply responding to some type of stimulus. It could be just simply something internal. Um, it could be, of course, something external in your environment, an argument with your wife or your husband or, you know, whatever, something at work. It could be the, the evening news, morning news. It could be anything. And the body is responding to some type of uh, event or a, some type of stress. And so it produces a feeling which will just concentrate on one particular type of feeling, a feeling of discomfort. You're uncomfortable. For example, and I'll give you an example. It just happened to me today. Uh, after my reading, my prayer, um, breakfast, that my, my habit then is I, then I go to the gym. So while I was in the gym, I just didn't feel, you know, that I had the type of energy that I, I wished I would have had. And then I started to feel a little warm. And, you know, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? <laughs> well, yeah, I'm getting sick, but, you know, with all this COVID business, you see, you see, well, you know, I got, I got this symptom. This is going through my mind just a few hours ago. You know, I'm feeling warm and I don't have energy and so on. But I've learned enough, uh, and this is what I want to talk to you about, that this feeling that's in my body, first of all, I, I can't control it. I didn't produce it. I mean, I, I didn't consciously produce it. It just came. And then I also began to rationalize. Oh, it may, I may be feeling warm because it's actually hot in the gym, which may have been the case. And then um, just, you know, if you let your body, let me say it to you this way. If you understand something I've spoken to you about before, if you understand that the body knows how to heal itself, that's how God created it. The body knows how to heal itself if you just leave it alone. And what do I mean by leaving it alone? I'm using my example from just this morning. Right now I'm not feeling hot, warm, or anything else. Um, so I remembered, you know, what I'm teaching you now, that the feelings that I had, who knows what produced them, I don't know. But I know the body knows what to do. So I just, just not paid much attention to it. And just kept going through my workout, doing what I was, what I usually do on on Thursdays in the gym. And uh, you know, by the time I got home, everything is gone. Now, what did I mean by interfering with the body? If I start to interject fear, oh, what's this? Boy, I'm hoping I'm not getting COVID, um, or I'm not getting sick. And you, I, you know, you start thinking of nausea and vomiting and whatever. That was the first thought that I had, because that's kind of the first thoughts that I'll say everybody has, but almost everybody has. The average person just starts to think in terms of, wow, am I getting sick? Nothing abnormal about that. But um, if I had processed those feelings with fear, anger and frustration, uh, or whatever else you could think of, you know, uh, then the feelings would have increased, the tension in the body would have increased, the nervous system would have been even more um, 
sensitive to the feeling, which would increase the perception of whatever was going on this morning in my body. I mean, I don't know what it was, and it's gone now. And I'm using that as an example of how you have to treat a feeling of anxiety, a feeling of um, discomfort in your body. This is related to nervous symptoms now. A feeling of discomfort in your body. Um, then we have, all, again, the symptoms that we talk about so many times. And by the way, I do uh, really encourage you to look up on the internet. Wikipedia has a long list. You can just go right there. Uh, of everything that can be associated with the nervous system that can mimic other things. We already know about chest pains, which uh, can certainly um, give you the impression that it's your heart when it's actually the pectoral muscles. And, and you know, if, if it's a palpitation coming from the heart, you know, give you, give you the impression that it's, it's a heart problem when it's really a problem with the central nervous system or the um, sympathetic nervous system. So the body knows what to do. The body knows how to make corrections. The body knows how to digest foods. The body knows how to do so many things that God has put into your physical body if you don't interfere with it. It does the job very, very well. And again, how do we interfere with it? We add fear. We add, you know, let me, let me just talk about fear and stress. I mean, just for a second here. One of the things, I think I talked to you about this, I think it was here on the Oasis. When you are very stressed, and this is helping you to understand to let the body do what it has to do to heal. So you want the, you know, you want the body to be in a relaxed state, in homeostasis, and so that it can do what God programmed it to do when something's not, doesn't feel right. Sometimes when you're really stressed, you have to take your day into little chunks, like maybe for the half a day. Just say, you know what, I'm going to set my mind that what goes on between now and noon, if it's 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, sometimes, I have had sometimes so much on my mind of stress that I say, you know what, I'm just going to think about what's going to happen in the next hour. So this way you're not overwhelmed with... What's going to happen all day today, tomorrow, next week, next month? You know, some of you are in very stressful situations. And the way to combat that is to make your goals even shorter in time. A couple hours at a time. A day at a time, which is certainly what Jesus taught. This way you're not adding more stress to your body. And you're not adding fear, which is going to interfere with the process of the, of the body healing itself. And let me mention this too, which I have before. Obviously, uh, you know, if you're getting some type of symptoms and you, you need to be checked out by a doctor if you haven't already. So that's always something I want to mention all the time. But under ordinary circumstances, the body, well, a trauma, for instance, where the body needs help. You need to go to the emergency room. You may need surgery. You know, that, that's where the body is not quite as proficient as uh, we would like it to be and you need the surgery to cut something out or whatever, put something in, like a pacemaker. Um, but the body, generally speaking, knows what to do, it knows all about digestion, it knows, it just, it's just an amazing, an amazing machine. The problem happens for people like yourself with nervous symptoms is you start processing the thoughts. So what I wanna to say to you today is this, you can't control your feelings that come up in the body. I would include your emotions as well. You can't control a feeling, you can't control an impulse that comes on you, you can't control, they're just gonna come on its own. But what you can and must control is your thoughts. Now that you have this feeling, how are you gonna think about it? That's the key. How are you gonna think about it? You're gonna process the feeling, oh, here I go, what's going on, and all of that. Or are you going to say, now in our case, this is a Christian broadcast, Christ, I trust you. I really trust you. You are the healer. In addition to the fact that he created your body to be able to be a self-healing machine. And this way, you're keeping yourself calm. The symptom is still there. That's what I'm trying to impress upon you. 
the feeling, the symptom is still there. You're saying, but this is so distressing. It's so uncomfortable. And there's not a lot you can do about that. But what you don't want to do is make it worse through more fear, frustration, irritation, and you, know, you get the picture. You don't want to do that. Let the body heal itself. Let the body do what it knows how to do. Let the nervous system calm down. You're already stressed. You're already tense. You're already irritable. You gotta calm down. The body will go to work or continue to work in, in the healing process. And this way you will not mix up trying to control your feelings, which you, you can't control. But you can control your thoughts, which you must control. Let me, uh, I hope this little bit here helps you out. And let me pray for you today that you understand that you can't control the emotions and the feelings and the impulses that are felt in your body or going through your body, but you can control your thoughts and you must control those thoughts. So let me pray for you. Father, I pray for my friends and uh, those who watch faithfully this channel. Teach them and make it real to them that feelings they come and feelings they go and feelings can be very deceiving but help them, God, to place their trust in your word and let them be found believing. I just ask you today, Father, to show them the truth that feelings cannot be controlled, but thoughts can and must be controlled. And I pray that in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, so that's it for today. Uh, glad that you were with me. As always, I invite those of you who maybe just stopped by. We have a small group here. That's an advantage that we're, you know, we're work, we, uh, we work with that advantage because it's a small group. So we can communicate. Hey, Pastor Ray, can you pray for this and that? And I do. So um, if you'd like to subscribe, be part of us, do that, please. Hit the notification button so you know when my videos go up. As always, I appreciate the thumbs up if you got something out of this, this video. And uh, God willing, today is Thursday. We're supposed to get a major snowstorm. Um, what's today? 24th of February. We're supposed to get a major snowstorm tonight, which shouldn't affect me here with you. So, Lord willing, I'll, I'll be with you here again tomorrow. Until then, let the peace of Christ be with you. And I truly pray that his peace will be with you today. God bless. I'll see you tomorrow.